Hi, my name is Mike Gelinas. In this next segment, we're going to do the three-person, 35-foot perpendicular throw. Fifth, watch all the carry. Watch all the carry. Any adjustments that need to be done with the tools once we're up in the flat shoulder carry is acceptable. Change it up, make sure that that tool is in good position for the trip to the fire building. Man, move forward! Move forward! As this three-man ladder crew goes into the fire building, they're gonna look at the overhead, the terrain, and their target area in the building. Consideration has to be made that when they make this ladder or they place the ladder on the ground, they're going to have to anticipate a flip of this ladder because in the position it is now, the fly is in, the fly needs to be out. So this needs to be flipped. Before that, the butt person will take his tool, place it against the fire building. The two tip people will take their tools, hand them to the butt person, placing them against the building so we know where they are at all times. Both tip people get back into the position of the carry. Now we'll incorporate the flip. Now, consideration needs to be taken when entering this fire area, so when we do flip this ladder, it brings us into our target area, not away from it. In this position here, both tip people stay where they are. This tip person has the best vantage point, whether we are in line with the target area or not. If we were more than a foot away from our target area, two feet or so, we would slide it here on the ground to where our target area would be. If it's less than that, we'll leave it and we'll make up for it when we make the rest of the throw. His judgment. When he says we're good, now the other tip person will join and we'll get ready to make this ladder vertical. One thing I need to mention is if this tip person did need to move the ladder one way or another, we don't say lefts or rights, simple big movements. Move the ladder two feet this way or two feet this way so we do not misinterpret lefts from rights. Better make ladder vertical. Make ladder vertical. Now that we have two tip people, it takes teamwork to get this ladder work. Both people need to get in the vertical position. We want to hear two verticals. Both tip people are looking up. We heard the two verticals. Now the butt person can go ahead with his next command. Prepare to raise the fly. Now the big change here, because there's two people, they're going to get what's called the K-brace. They both moved over into the K-brace, taking our feet and hands off of the fly section so now it can be raised or lowered. Notice our hands are grabbing the back of the beams. We don't have any thumbs out in this position. We are grabbing more of the back of the beam as we should with all ladder work when you being in the tip position. With the hand and feet position in the K-brace, we got to make sure when talking about our feet and legs that they are off to the side of the beam towards the side of the beam here, so now the fly can ride up and down without hitting any part of the leg. Staying in line with the beam and also being able to look up towards the tip to make sure this ladder stays vertical. The next movement will be raising of the fly. When that happens, the two tip people are going to be watching the paws. One is going to judge the height. When we get that height, this per tip person will be only able to see this paw, and that tip person will only be able to see the paw on this side. So we need to hear two paws are locked because there's two tip people. Raise the fly. Notice the butt person is pulling down in line with the ladder, not pulling it off balance. Communication between the two tip people is important. Both paws are locked. They immediately get back into the vertical position. 
That is by far the best way to hold this ladder in the vertical position. Prepare to lower the ladder to the building. Lower the ladder to the building. Any adjustments that need to be done with the climbing angle are done by both tip people in unison. Communication is important. Once the ladder is in the proper position, one tip person will come out and check the climbing angle. Climbing angle is good. Once the climbing angle is determined good, the butt person will step back in and tie off the halyard. With the 35 and 40, 45, 50 foot ladders, we, you will have significant more halyard. So here's where putting it in half and tying it off in that manner will be advantageous. Otherwise, there would be halyard t hanging on the ground or touching the ground, which cannot happen. If this halyard was longer still and still touching the ground, like possibly with a 45 or 50, the, fire, the butt firefighter would use some type of method, a loose figure of eight, just to keep it off the ground, something that is easily untied. 